if you're losing about three to four gallons per one gallon of pure water, that's a lot of water. Good morning, guys, and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. Today is the saltwater aquarium day. We got to take the lid off of that, set it aside, go out back and get things prepped and ready with the RO system. So hopefully if we're lucky, we'll at least get what, maybe three quarters of one tank completely full? Should be able to. That's a goal? Yeah. Shelby's hopefully. doing some cool crocheting stuff. I'm not sure what she's making, but I think it's a dress for me. <laughs> In your dreams. So let's get started. about five gallons put into the aquarium right now both tanks are 55 gallon tanks so now we're out here in the storage shed with the RO system what we have is this is a four stage RO system from bulk resupply it's actually a really really good system so this is our water input there we're gonna hook that up to the water hose and this is our clean water the blue one is our clean water so what we'll do is we'll use this to turn around and fill up our water jugs which we'll transport into the house and I know this sounds like a lot of work but the thing is is we only have to do this once after that you know it's pretty much cycle changes and things like that on the tank which you know it's probably gonna be like more like once a month and it's not gonna be near as much water so we'll have those jugs and everything preloaded pre set up and ready to go for those cycle changes in the future but most importantly the biggest reason why we have this system out here is for this this black water the black water or the I, I'll call it gray water this black line actually will take it'll pump water into this five gallon bucket we have a submersible pump that we're going to take that water from there and we're going to actually transport it out back and I'm going to go show you we have a 375 gallon water uh, drum here so this is our gray water from that tank from the five gallon bucket it goes into this tank and from this tank we actually use this water to water the backyard and water our veggie garden so if you're losing about three to four gallons per one gallon of pure water that's a lot of water when you need about 110 gallons of RO water so we're not wasting water We've been telling you that we've gotten a lot of rain over the past couple of days. So we're back here working on our OR water and I decided to come over to our rain gauge. It only measures up to five and a half inches, but I think it ran out of room. Kind of makes me wonder exactly how much rain we actually got. There we go. Hopefully, no more rain sees that rain gauge for a while. Waiting on the RO water. Watching the grass grow. Hey, at least I got flowers to look at. Got tired of watching the grass grow. So I figured I'd watch the jugs fill up. Not very exciting. Is it done yet? That's a big old fly. Out there, I believe, is a horse fly. Guys, it's coming along. It's really, really slow. It's about noon right now. We only put about 11 gallons in the aquarium thus far. We're still producing for every six gallons. It takes about, looks like, uh, six gallons, two hours. Six gallons, two hours. It's taking a long time. This is brutal. You know, almost reminds me of yesterday being stuck in the house and couldn't do anything. So I fly drones. I'll leave that link up here. This is just terrible. I'm getting sleepy. Now I know why guys put in big old huge 55 gallon drums. One disposable waste and one salt water fresh RO water is so they don't have to wait on this stuff. Because we're constantly having to swap out the spigot. Yeah. Mm. Meanwhile, looks like our flag fly went away. <laughs> Poor little fella. Fly guy. Fly guy. Fly guy, fly guy, fly guy. Taxi, I can get my clothes on the way. 
It's a nightgown! Alright guys, I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Man, I'll tell you what, check this out, man. Check this out, check this out. It's like seven o'clock. We got 29 gallons in that tank and six gallons in that tank. Man, I'll tell you what, this RO system stuff is a lot of water and a lot of waiting. But we've gained a lot of progress. So I'm gonna set some salt in this little fella and get it cycling over tonight. And that one, well, I'm not gonna sit up all night and drag one gallon water jugs into the house to fill that guy up. So he's just gonna have to wait. That's all I have to say about that. That's how you mix salt water. You get a mixture of her thing. <laughs> 